Good afternoon. I am Dr. Carol Wilder, a technical writer at ATCC. Thank you for joining us for the latest installment in the ATCC Excellence in Research webinar series entitled ATCC Biorepository Services, presented by Ms. Tiffany Gonzalez. Ms. Gonzalez is the Assistant Manager of Repository Operations at ATCC. She has extensive experience in the handling, storage, management, and inventory of biological specimens. At ATCC, she manages biorepository operations and ensures that all processes comply with standard operating procedures, facility safety guidelines, and Food and Drug Administration requirements. In the following webinar, she will discuss the importance of biological materials management and will expand on the services offered at ATCC that support the handling and storage of biological specimens. If you have any questions for Ms. Gonzalez, please use the chat function available through the webinar program. Questions will be answered as time allows at the end of the presentation, and any remaining questions, as well as the recorded webinar presentation, will be archived on the ATCC website at www.atcc.org. Kara, thank you for the introduction. We'll go ahead and get started with the webinar. Okay, so to give some brief history about ATCC, the company was founded in 1925. ATCC is a nonprofit organization headquartered in Manassas, Virginia. There's also a research and development and services center located in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Um, there's also um, in October of 2016, ATCC won a contract to manage and operate one of the largest repositories of, of biological specimens located in Frederick, Maryland. ATCC is the world's premier biological materials resource and standards development organization. ATCC's collection include a wide range of biological materials for research, including 5,000 cell lines, 80,000 microbes, genomic and synthetic nucleic acids, as well as media and reagents. ATCC collaborates with and supports the scientific community with industry standard and innovative biological solutions. We have a growing portfolio of products and services, and we also have sales and distribution in 150 countries with 12 international distributors. ATCC is also made up of a talented team of over 450 employees, over one-third with advanced degrees. This is an outline of topics that we'll be discussing today. First, we'll cover the importance of biorepositories. And I'll go into depth on ATCC biorepository services. This includes our quality standards, global distribution, our biomaterial storage and management, the security of our facilities, and focused innovation. The importance of biorepositories. So a repository is a facility that collects, processes, stores, and distributes biological materials to support future scientific investigations. Biorepositories allow for resource sharing, the proper handling and long-term storage of biological materials, which will protect against loss or contamination of valuable biological materials. ATCC Biorepository Services. ATCC has over 90 years experience focused solely on biomaterial services and management. We also have the expertise to store and distribute biological materials worldwide. This below list shows um, the highlights of what ATCC has to offer. We offer secure and reliable biological material management with temperature controlled supply chain. We offer 24-7 equipment monitoring of all of our equipment with 24-hour video surveillance. 
We have on-call, after-hours personnel who are ready to respond. And we have state-of-the-art equipment for cold chain management and biobanking. ATCC's quality, again, with over 90 years experience of biorepository management, all of our facilities are GMP compliant. We also have ISO 9001 and ISO 17125 certified service offerings. I will specify that the ATCC Manassas facility is currently GMP compliant and um, in line with the ISO standards. The new facility in Gaithersburg, Maryland, all of our documents are written to be GMP compliant as well as meet all of the ISO standards. And that certification is planned to be completed um, late this summer of 2017. Global distribution. ATCC is certified to distribute material to high-risk global locations. We distribute to more than 150 countries. We, are also, we also have a lot of experience with federal regulations for all countries, and we're compliant with U.S. export and import requirements. These two things allow us to have material pass easily through customs, ensuring our material gets to their designated location in due time. We have an ex exceptional success rate in delivering um, high-risk shipments to these high-risk locations. We're well-versed in applying for and completion of permits and licenses. We're able to maintain cold chain throughout the duration of the shipment, all of which allows us to reliably ship material worldwide. Uh, this picture here shows the listing of ATCC's 12 international distributors. And the pie chart, the bottom there, shows that 65% of our product sales are domestic to the United States and 35 our international sales. Storage. So our facilities are specially designed for large capacity storage of biological materials. We have multiple power systems. We have backup freezers for all storage temperatures. We are able to maintain temperature controlled supply chain. We have round-the-clock, 24-7 equipment monitoring and, as I stated before, on-call, after-hour personnel who are ready to respond. And we also have an inventory management system, which assures uh, biomaterial traceability in a validated and secure software environment. ATCC has state-of-the-art equipment to maintain um, cold chain when working with materials outside of their storage environments. Some of the things that we offer, are one is a cryopod carrier, which is pictured there to the left. And this carrier um, is a safe way for our repository staff to handle material at cryogenic temperatures. And you can see in the picture there that it maintains temperature below minus 150 degrees centigrade. We also have cryogenic carts, which allow our technicians to handle material outside of the storage freezers, but on a much larger capacity. So they can handle entire racks of freezers safely and again at the required temperature to ensure cold chain management. We have dry ice workstations. These are, again, something that we would use to handle large scale material. We can handle up to two to three racks of material at a time. It uses dry ice to safely keep material at those temperatures. 
we have validated backup units. So we have we have backup freezers for all of our storage temperatures to ensure if one unit were to go down, we can safely transport material to a backup unit. It's turned on, it's pre-chilled, it's been validated and ready for those type of situations. We also have multiple power systems um, ensuring the backup um, power in cases of power outages or what have you. We have a 2N plus 1 generator redundancy in our um, Gaithersburg facility, meaning we have a fully redundant system that's easily maintained without losing any power to any of our systems. Another great benefit that we offer is flexible storage options. We can do short-term and long-term storage of small or large-scale specimens. We have customers that store a couple samples. They prefer to store boxes of material. We are able to reserve a shelf for customers, an entire freezer unit if they prefer, as well as an entire rack if that's what they need. As stated previously, our inventory management system is used to ensure the materials are properly accounted for at all times. ATCC offers CGMP and non-CGMP services. Both which are secure and confidential storage of customer materials. All information concerning the stored materials is retained in confidence, and all rights to materials may remain with the customer. The biological materials is available only to our customers. We are able to distribute to third parties, but that's only after we receive the notice in writing from the customer that they want the material going to a third party. For our non-CGMB compliant materials, ATCC provides extensive support for master cell banks and working cell banks uh, to be produced, stored, and distributed globally. We offer sample processing and analysis. We offer long-term storage in a secure, controlled, and monitored environment. Our facilities are designed for large capacity storage. And again, we have flexible storage options for our customers. We can store by the sample, by the box, the shelf, unit, or even the rack. For our CGMP compliant materials, we have dedicated and validated units with access restricted only to CGMP trained staff. And we always have QC and QA oversight when handling customer material. We have an ATCC business unit that provides tracking labels to the customer to ensure proper segregation of material immediately upon receipt at ATCC. We separate storage boxes for each cell bank, or we can have multiple cell banks in one box, but that's per customer request. We ensure that only one customer's material is located per storage box. And again, we have direct QA supervision of all tank entry and retrieval activities. This here lists out the differences between our CGMP and non-CGMP capabilities. To point out a couple things, this first line here shows that for our non-GMP material, as I stated earlier, we have extensive support for the master cell bank and the working cell bank productions. If we look a couple lines down to point out our CGMP capabilities, like I said, we have separate storage units between cell lines and other material, keeping things segregated, preventing any type of cross-contamination. 
we only have one customer material per storage box. Again, we can combine some material, but that's per customer option. We have direct quality oversight of all entry and retrieval activities, making sure that customer material isn't being handled without any oversight um, or direction from the customer. Security. All of our ATCC facilities have 24-7 restricted access to our facilities. All of our biologic material are housed within storage units that are equipped with full monitoring system, again, 24 hours, and there's uninterrupted surveillance cameras monitoring the units. And entry into the storage units are under scrupulous direct supervision from QC and QA. No one goes into the freezers without that oversight from quality. Our ATCC team really works with our customers through all stages of custom projects. And this is our focused innovation. These items listed below describe our up-to-the-minute technology. For example, cell line expansion, as I stated earlier, the master cell banks and the working cell banks. We do cell line authentication, cell line generation, and cell line derivation from tissues. We do PBMC isolation, cryopreservation, and characterization. We're able to do EBV transformation, sample processing and analysis, as well as nucleic acid extraction both small and large scales. So I hope this webinar really encourages those of you listening to consider partnering with ATCC. With over our 90 years of business in the biomaterial and services management, we really are the global bioresource leader for storage, distribution, and management of biological materials. We have streamlined deposit and inventory processes. We have global distribution and are able to maintain that cold chain throughout the um, entirety of transit. We have robust data management systems. We have um, the option to fit our customer needs in terms of scalability. Like I said before, we can um, store vials, racks. We can um, secure an entire storage unit um, per customer needs. And we also have service options such as cell, microbial, nucleic acid storage, as well as management and distribution of customer material. So in summary, these are, this is just a wrap-up of what we discussed today, ATCC's quality system. We have over 90 years of experience. Our Manassas facility is CGMP compliant and ISO 9001, 2008 certified. And like I said, the Gaithersburg facility is right behind it. By the end of summer, we'll be there in our compliance. Storage and distribution, as stated before, we have flexible storage options. We have state-of-the-art equipment maintaining cold chain, and we have global distribution all over the world. Our security, we have restricted access to our facilities as well as inside of each storage unit. We have multiple power systems. We have backup equipment. We are ready to move our material in emergency situations. All of our equipment is monitored 24-7. We have a robust inventory management system, which allows for traceability of all of our biomaterials that we have in our facilities. And our innovation. We are able to do cell line expansion, cell line generation, authentication of cell lines, nucleic acid extraction, sample processing, EBV transformations, and PBMC isolation and storage. Thank you for listening to the presentation, and I'll take any questions that we have from here.
Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez, for that excellent presentation. In just a few moments, we will begin our question and answer session. Please use the chat function available through the webinar program to submit questions. The session will be documented and archived along with the recorded webinar presentation on the ATCC website at www.atcc.org. So our first question is, what environmental temperatures is the repository capable of storing materials? Uh, great question. So we are able to store materials in LN2 vapor, which houses material at minus 150 degrees centigrade and colder. We have minus 80 degrees mechanical freezers. We also have Vario units, which are, they look exactly like liquid nitrogen tanks. They're, they're fueled by liquid nitrogen. However, they maintain temperatures at minus 80 degrees Celsius, uh, centigrade, which is fantastic because um, it allows for us to go in and out of the freezers frequently without causing any temperature fluctuations to the materials housed within. We also have freezers that store material at minus 20 degrees. Uh, we have plus 4 degrees refrigerators. And we also have room temperature storage units. Thanks. Our next question is, what is the estimated maximum capacity of the repository in Gaithersburg, Maryland? Uh, so Gaithersburg can hold approximately 5 million specimens, and I'm pretty sure the Manassas facility can hold approximately 65 million specimens. So we have a lot of space to store uh, customer material. Our next question is, will you please elaborate on the use of state-of-the-art equipment for cold chain management and biobanking? Sure. So I talked briefly about um, the cryopod carrier, um, and like I stated, it's a it's it can fit one um, one storage box. It's a safe and a portable way to handle cryogenic material outside of the storage units while maintaining the cold chain. So the cryopod carrier maintains um, our our material in an LN2 vapor environment of minus 150 degrees or colder for over four hours on one charge. It also has integrated temperature monitoring with alarms and it's capable of logging temperature, date and time, each time the equipment alarms. Um, and that alarm also lets the technician know that they need to go ahead and take the cryopod back to the filling station and give another boost of LN2. Um, the, the cryopod carrier also comes with a filling station, which is fantastic because it's another safe way for our technicians to fill the cryopod carrier without exposing themselves to the splashing of liquid nitrogen for other conventional ways of filling the filling the LN2 carrier. Um, so using the cryopod carrier in the filling station really makes sure that our technicians remain safe while working back in the repository. It's quick. Um, you know, the filling only takes about two to three minutes. Um, and it's also reliable. We can record temperature and make sure that the cold chain is being maintained, even though the materials aren't in the security of the um, LN2 freezers. We also have um, the cryo cart, which I mentioned in the presentation. And again, that's fueled with liquid nitrogen. And um, it houses the liquid nitrogen in the bottom chamber. And it allows a, our, our technicians to handle material on a larger scale. In terms of needing to transfer material from one freezer to the next, um, we can lift out about four racks at a time and safely transfer them in a controlled environment to a new storage unit. We can um, record the temperature of the cryo cart, um, and we can move a lot of materials at once without causing any temperature excursions. I also mentioned the um, the dry ice workstations, and those again, it, they're used for large scale handling of material, but um, 
it, it, like I said, it's a large cart that's, you know, elevated up on wheels. It uses dry ice around the edges of the cart, and off of one fill of dry ice, I think it can maintain temperatures of minus 50 degrees and colder for, I think, anywhere between six to eight hours. So again, this is a great way, one charge, we're using less dry ice, um, our technicians aren't in direct contact with the dry ice, so we keep our technicians safe. And again, we can record that temperature, we can download the information in our computer system, and it can provide back to customers um, an assurance that we are keeping their material in safe conditions while we're handling it outside of the freezers. Our next question is, are there any additional security measures taken to ensure the integrity of materials being stored in the biorepository? Yeah, so I touched briefly um, about it in the presentation. Um, in both our Manassas and our Gaithersburg facility, there is batch access to enter into the repository itself. So all individuals who have access to those facilities have a badge access. No one else can get into that facility. I know specifically in Gaithersburg, there is, um, the badge access is only for employees who have been trained in CGMP. No one else has access to those facilities. So already that ensures a level of security of who is entering into our uh, facilities. There are um, security cameras that are monitored. Um, the information goes back to Manassas. Um, our freezers have locks. So, um, you know, again, no one without the key can enter in those freezers. I spoke about the quality of oversight we have going into each unit. Um, and our minus 80 freezers are really cool because they also have badge access. So someone needs to actually go in and give each person the ability to enter in our minus 80 freezers. Um, and without that badge, you can't get access to the freezers. So in the minus 80, that really does provide an additional level of security. And the freezers also record each badge access. So if I were to put my badge up to a freezer, I can pull that data off of the freezer and it will have my name, you know, Tiffany Gonzalez, when I access the freezer, how long the door was open, when it was closed, and if there were any temperature excursions. So again, that really does give us traceability um, of our freezers or who who's entering our freezers, who's accessing it. Um, and we also have the um, environmental monitoring system. So like I said, it's a 24-7 system. It monitors, um, it, it, it alarms through the computer system, it sends emails, it sends text messages, it has phone calls, um, and all of our staff are prepared for that. Um, and it allows us to have up to the minute notifications if any of our freezers are alarming so that we can get to the facility at any time, day or night, weekend, um, to respond to that alarm and make sure that um, our material is safe and managed in a timely fashion. Thank you. So it looks like we have one more question, which is, are CGMP and non-CGMP materials housed at both ATCC facilities? Um, actually, no. So the facility in Gaithersburg, Maryland, that is a purely CGMP um, facility. All the other material, the non-CMG, the non-CGMP material is housed in, um, in the Manassas location, which is our headquarters facility, but only Gaithersburg will be CGMP. Great. So at this time, we will conclude our question and answer session. Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez, for the excellent presentation, and thank you, everyone, for attending the webinar. Please visit us online at www.atcc.org slash webinars to register for additional ATCC webinars. For more information on ATCC's deposit services, custom solutions, and cell line authentication services, please visit us online at www.atcc.org slash services. And for more information about our biorepository services, please visit us online at www.atcc.org slash biorepository.